Oh, hello there, um, Internet. How are you doing? Yes, today I'm going to talk about. Um, sorry, it's getting distracted by my own beard at the moment. It seems to have um, grown, so it's filling up the entire monitor. I'll just uh, move that back just a little bit. Yes, <laughs> no editing, Richard, no editing. Yes, uh, it's me, um, Mr. Yeti, Richard. Um, Auto assembly green, so time for a bit of the pre auto assembly waffle. <laughs> yeah, this will be my second auto assembly. I've not attended since I went to one in about 2005 or 6, I'm going to guess. It was about 2005 or 6. Um, it's only one day I went down. Um, not have that. It wasn't that uh, a great mind blowing experience for me. Um, partly my own fault. I think I, I got up far too early to get a coach to Birmingham. Um, turn up, bought assembly, had a stinking hangover. Uh, basically, just walked around, bought a few things that I wanted, attended a few panels, and then took me and Miss the hangover back to Manchester. And, and that was it really, I think I didn't really get involved in that much stuff, uh, and mostly, you know, I think the onus was on me even, for not even trying, because I, I was just not, I was tired of all over, a bit grumpy. So, we're not going to fall down that pitfall this time around. Um, yeah, going for the weekend this time, uh, could get in the Hilton booked a Hotel, a couple of miles away from the venue, Costing me and my friend £80 between us for two nights. £80 between us for two nights. <laughs> Sorry, Hilton, but you're not having that money. What's that face? What's that face about? Yes, anyway, no important things. Plastic toys and stuff and things you're looking forward to to all the same way. What do I need? I need, I still need, a, um, Crown walking. Still need crown walking. Well, that's giving me an unpleasant thought of pouring molten gold over the grimlock. No, masterpiece grimlock. No. I bought this, uh, the first release of this Japanese. As soon as it was out, I was like, yes, I'm having a masterpiece grimlock. Um, unfortunately, you know, other releases afterwards have given him his nice uh, comic book crown, which I want. I've got, a, I've got a tray of drinks and a bow tie for him. These never get used, they're still in the box up there. Um, yes, yeah, so that is my main thing, crown for Grimlock. So we're going to hopefully come on from World War to have a little loose crown. You know, and that's what, what I really enjoyed. I mean, a positive experience of the first door assembly I went to was just the dealer room, which was just absolutely amazing. You get to see all these things that you've either not seen in a long time or you've never seen in the flat or, or in the plastic you've never seen them before in the plastic and it's like wow look at, look at this look at this so you know I bought myself a, a Transmetal 2 Black Ariacnia and I've got a G2 Silver Bolt and just random loose combiner limbs just to make up just some Frankenstein's Gistol I might do that again I might do that again this year just to you know have a whip around and see what random um Frankenstein's combiner, I can make it auto assembly. <laughs> Why not? Why ever not? So yeah, that's um Once is the crown. Uh quite like. Um I wanna get something I've not don't have anything in my collection that's some random Beast Wars 2 or Beast Wars Neo Japanese craziness. I want a uh, Break or a Mac kick or a long rack, something like that. I want something or a high rack with these testicles. I want something like that. I want, I want something like that in my collection because uh, it'll be awesome. I'll, I'll just make my collection awesome. Um, I still need to get my um, most of my transformers out of my parents' attic at the moment. Um, I should do now that I've actually got my own place and I'm not renting anymore. Uh, and I've got an attic of my own to put the majority of stuff into. Uh, but yeah, I'd like to have a look around that maybe before auto assembly to see what I've got, see what parts I might need um, to you know, fix up some of my uh, old G1 clunky, junkin', broken bits and bats. Um, but yeah, I think that's 
you know, I'd quite like some nice craziness, some nice crazy left field transformerness. I mean, I'm looking at the new movie stuff, and I quite like Hound and uh, some of the Dinobots. I'd like to get them, but I don't think Auto Assembly is the place for it. It's same for the third party Scorio or Slag, as he's always going to be called. He's probably one of my, you know, favourite Dinobots. I don't really have. I don't know. I'm one of my favourite Dinobots. All my di all the Dinobots. All my Dinobots are my favourite Dinobots. But yeah, someone like that, it deserves nice. We can get him for a nice price, otherwise, I'll just save up the money and just get him at a later stage, because I think he's something to be around, and I quite like him to have him do a release that has black plastic head rather than red plastic head. Because, you know, that's, that's like, it's very much always been my toy and comic book slag, and not the. Cartoon slag, so yeah, slag. We still call him that. We're English, we're allowed to. <laughs> it's our word, bro. <laughs> but other than that, yeah, so something like that. Um, yeah, would be nice. Would it be nice to make a, a Frankenstein's gestalt out of just random combiner parts? We can find at Auto Assembly. Maybe you know, a bit of techno bit of pot here, a bit of. Um, Seacom there and see what we can make <laughs> I don't want that yet I'll well, try and get involved more I'm really looking forward to the IDW panels more than meets the eye he's just really been you know, anything any crew member the, that I can see of, uh, more than meets the eye as well and I get bought as well as that's on my list I'm not, I'm not even having a list I'm just having an idea of things that I might buy I'm not going to commit anything to paper because uh, spreadsheets and lists are for work, not for playing with toys. Yeah, so all that panels. The voice of the tick. The voice of the tick. Yes, uh, brilliant. I'm going to have to fetch my tick box set down because I want to get that signed. Um, yeah, all this craziness. Oh, I'm just looking forward to all the craziness and you know. Because I'm going with a friend this time, I think it's going to be a lot better. But we'll be able to bounce off each other and see all you guys across the internet. Because I think I've been a lot, of, I've paid a lot more attention to what's been going on with the Transformer community in the internets um, than I have uh, back going back about almost ten years ago. Uh, Swerve's bar, Swerve's party night bar. Already got a shirt planned out for it. Look at this. Bad boy. Oh yeah, you've got to go Hawaiian, you know, in homage to Swerve's human avatar. Nice little um, drinks motifs on there. It's delightfully gaudy. That is going to be my Saturday night shirt. Other than that, I think that is um, all I can think about saying now. We're going watching. Transformers 4 tonight. <laughs> oh dear me, I don't know. I'm kind of excited, terrified about it. Excitified? But we'll see. We'll see. We'll have a look at that tonight. Uh, we might do a review. We might not do a review uh, of the movie. But yeah, anyway, I'm really actually looking forward to all this, haven't we? Uh, it's going to be great, great times, great times, and I hope to see you all there. That's half an hour, internet.